Hi guys, this is Maria. Welcome to my channel. This week's video is the review of all natural, eco-friendly art supplies for your kids, babies and toddlers. For this review, I partnered with Brilliant Bumblebee All Natural Toy Shop. The link is going to be somewhere on the screen, so don't forget to click it. The story behind the shop is really cool. Thad used to work in product development for Disney and Walmart for their toy selection. So he traveled the world and learned a lot about toy safety, manufacturer regulations, and all those things. So when he met his wife, Brita, and they had their adorable baby boy, he decided to re-enter the industry and open their all-natural toy shop. I'm personally really excited to know more about how to choose the right toys, and that's why I'm going to include the interview with Thad in my next video on toddler activities. So now let's get to it, then all natural art supplies. Some of them I absolutely loved, some of them were a little bit different from what I expected, so keep watching to find out. The first art supply is this Echo Finger Paint Kit. It comes in little pouches inside in powder form. And you can see that's how it looks when you open the box. The colors are yellow and it's really easy to mix. The ratio is one to one, it's all natural. You don't have to be scared what your baby is playing with orange and here are the five colors it comes in. It's really easy to mix, it's powder water. Again, ratio is one to one and even toddler can mix it up. We tried out magenta, as you can see right there. And also blue, both colors are very pastel. So don't expect vibrant, colorful colors or paintings out of it. it. It looks more like watercolor, but what's great about it, it's all natural and I really enjoyed it because I want my baby to play with stuff that I feel for, for her safe and you know, things like that happen a lot. Yeah, she paints on herself all the time. The cleanup was very easy, luckily. It actually required only water, not even soap. So I definitely recommend this product. So what gave me an idea to try out more natural art supplies are instances like this. Scarlett constantly is painting on herself with markers, dry erase markers, paints, you name it. So I ordered this all natural face paint kit. And my idea was to draw pretty butterflies and flowers, maybe on her hands, maybe a little bit on her feet, because she constantly asks me to do it. And both of us enjoyed the process. It's very easy to apply, very nice. These paints are made the way the people made paints back in the day. So you don't have to be worried if they're safe, if they're toxic, they absolutely are not. But this activity is for a very courageous mom, I guess like I am, because it very quickly turned this way and Scarlett took control. There was no more butterflies or flowers, it just got worse, worse and worse. Good thing it was very easy to wash off with a little bit of soap and water. I loved it. One of my favorite art supplies are these crayons from Echo Kids. They're great for blending. You can create multiple combinations with yellow and red, make an orange, blue and white, light blue, red and blue, purple, and they are so smooth and so nice in creating them. And also they are really fun shape. Having something in a different shape than just a regular crayon makes for a different type of play. Skirt really loved them. We've had them for over two weeks now and she still prefers them over pencils, paints or anything else. So I think I'm definitely removing one of my products that I have been using before, like traditional crayons and introducing those. I really recommend this product for kids at about two years of age. an absolute hit. It's an Echo Doll from Echo Kids. It comes in two uh, sizes, the package of six, and the package of three. And in the package of three, you have red, yellow, and blue. And you can see the colors of the package of six as well. The ingredients are flour, salt, water, oils, and all natural colorants. That's how it looks inside the top really cool and what's the best part of it it feels just like radio play-doh I was really excited about that and you can make all the same shapes and sizes Scarlett loved playing with it we actually used our little shapes for play-doh when we played with it 
and one of the colors in this six pack that's supposed to be white actually is the color of the regular dough and I really really recommend it this is the best product I reviewed are these beeswax crayons honey sticks they are made in New Zealand from all natural ingredients mainly the beeswax so they actually smell like honey that's really cool they're chunky and very easy for a toddler to hold in their hands Scarlett in general are not as much into crayons she prefers paint or the other crayons that I showed you in this video but these are great colors they are very soft and smooth they don't stain your hands so I would say they're, they're a great product for your child to replace your traditional crayons and uh, all the colors are really nice and bright I definitely recommend it this review please make sure to comment below if you have any specific questions for Thad I'm gonna try to incorporate your questions in my interview with him and next week's video is gonna be a toddler activities I'm gonna be talking about open-ended toys some sensory being some Pinterest inspired activities a little bit of Montessori as usual uh, and I'm gonna also announce my next giveaway so make sure to click that notifications button like subscribe and share not to miss out I hope I'll see you next week